go. What up, y'all? Welcome back to another live bread wrinkle. He says, hello, everybody at home. He's a happy dog. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, brother Kurt's here. And uh, if you guys have watched any of my other taxidermy videos from here at the lodge, uh-huh. One thing, you'll know who Kurt is. Number two, you will know about my, uh, what should I call it? My flock mount. So I've been getting this, I've been building this huge flock of taxidermy geese, stuffed geese, okay? Blues, Rossies, Specs, Lessers, okay? And I got two of my favorite birds here with Kurt. He does all my taxidermy and we're gonna hang them together, so. You guys have always been interested in this uh, flock taxidermy deal that I've made. I never planned it, it's just happening and it's so pretty that I wanna add to it and I'm gonna keep adding to it. Let's go see what Kurt brought us. Hello. Hello. He already, look, he's already ripping, ready to roll. <laughs> Had to figure out where to put things. Yeah, what are you thinking, like, uh, here, like lower? Or you want to put them landing, like, right here? I've got a bunch more to go in there, so. Yeah, we're going to end up putting a lot more in there as yeah. well. Uh oh, they look good. We could put. Do we want to cup them where they're kind of coming into this focal point here? Yeah, I kind of wanted them just coming down like a step, step. Mm -hmm. If we're gonna put, you know, five more geese or six, like a uh, like a step right. down, step down, and then landing here with more walking around feeding. Some more feeding up here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go out here and look at it. Oh. Oh, oh, lesser daddy, that is the first goose, the first and only goose that I've ever shot here at the house. Mm -hmm. He was flying over, and I just gave him the old one too. He was a high shooter, you better believe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's kind of touching a leg down too. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's kind of throwing a leg down. Yep, I'm getting ready to come down and set. So. Those might, man. Those might be the perfect pair to, you know, really close to this, like... Yeah, right up here. Maybe like... Yeah, because yeah, they'll hang just like this. Oh, kind of at an angle. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So they want just like landing here. Right. Like yeah. He's just about to set. Yes. That's awesome. Let me turn some more lights on. Just like that. Yeah. That'll look awesome. Then, we got the blue. And the blue. He's, that is, he's pretty similar to it. He's yeah. got a little more radical back pedal on him. Yeah. I same swear. kind of landing. Yep, he's doing the same posture. thing. Posture. Yep. He's doing the same oh, exact nice. thing. That's going to be a beautiful pair of geese coming bizarre. in there. This one's bizarre. This is a nice. You can't get any better than having a beautiful blue up on a wall. Right. Uh, something about them. By far. Uh, some beautiful <laughs> geese. Yeah. Here's the idea of this light that hangs down here. Just like up there see the walkers so they're landing they're walking around feeding i want to bring that back flock up here landing on here with geese feeding so that's what we are starting today how many do we have up there one two three four five six ish walkers heck we could even take some of those feeders from up there Throw even a couple over here to see what they look like. Yeah, we can put a couple over here, no problem. We yeah. can rearrange that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we picked our spot right above Kurt. We're going to hang we're both gonna of put, them. We're going to put the left and right here, right? Yes. So the rest, lesser will be on your right side. Okay. How far out do we want him coming right over top of that? Uh, let me, let me stand oh, that over one? Here. Uh, I think back far enough so you can see the belly of the blue, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Right in here? Yeah, you, here. Can, you can definitely go as low as this though, or lower. Yeah, I think maybe yeah. even a little bit lower. Yep, I like that. I like it. Okay. That'll look good. So what makes this uh, lesser can of goose even more special is not only did I shoot it at home, but the ring on this bad boy, it's a beauty. It is. 
That's I was a, lucky to pick that one out of the flock. That's a trophy though. I'm, I'm I mean, not when gonna, they get that real white ring there, they're really, really pretty. I'm not gonna say that I picked them. <laughs> <laughs> out of the flock. <laughs> yeah. no. It was a pretty lucky. It was a pretty lesson, so that's one I got. <sighs> yep. yep. He's an old guy. He's probably old enough. He wouldn't like my decoys. I'll uh, show you how Kurt does it. He just uses thin gauge wire. Pretty sturdy stuff. What gauge wire is this? Ish. So that's just like fencing wire, right? It's thick. A of wire, so yeah, like a it's thick, like thick clothes hanger wire. Probably, and you could just use clothes hangers, but yep. that, and then he makes these. Make a little hook. Yeah, just a little hook that uh, screws up like that, and then he hangs really thin, like braid fishing line. Uh, so you can't really even see the line. So just a little tip if you want to hang uh, your geese from the ceiling. Uh, no, I don't think you need to go lower. I think that's, that's, that's really nice. That's a, it looks a hair lower than this one, which is good. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I think this there, yep. Let me, yeah, let me go back here. Uh, where were we? Right there. Yes. And, and then if you turn, and we'll turn just a hair. Yep, that's going to look awesome. Is it, do you just use these long pins, Kurt? Uh -huh. Like on the butt, do you just use these long... Yeah, I just put a pin and push it, put the wire on the pin ah. and push it into the butt. Ah. So I can adjust the, the camber of it. Ah, gotcha. So that's what I was going to show you guys. If you guys are hanging these, um, you can have your... Um, you may not have a Kurt that actually comes and... Kurt wants to do that. He wants to be on that ladder. He wants... That's his deal. All these, literally all the birds in here are all mounted by Kurt. So um, you may not have a Kurt to come hang your birds. Like I do. Thank you, Curtis. But uh, these, so this is gonna go in the butt. Like you just push it all the way into your finished bird and then um, it'll be in the butt of it. So the top of the butt. And then you're gonna have one wire that goes up, one wire that goes back. And that keeps it from spinning. Just putting the needle right in the back. Do you use the same needle in the back too? The back and the butt? Mm -hmm. Oh, it holds that whole, the weight of the bird up. Mm -hmm. Both of those needles? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So Kurt and I are planning how we're going to build this flock. Because the more we put in there, the better it gets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we step back there and take a look at it. Um, I don't know, Kurt. I think that there's that, like in front of the ladder right here, yeah. like this, you can get pretty low with some birds like right here. Yeah, I can put a couple of down. And then, because kind of like these, I like how this one's, these two step down. Yeah. You know, boom, boom. I don't know, maybe, maybe couple. just, maybe once we get the couple in here, this might be done for a minute. Could and be then, a little bit. Yeah, and then I we can put move. one more right here in between those. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, we could probably move Gerald's yeah. uh, leucistic forward a little bit. I, I totally agree with that. Yeah. People can't see that bird. No, he's kind of hidden now. Yeah, and that's He's special. really going to be hidden once we get the specs up here. Yeah. So we may move him up. That's Gerald's leucistic snow. You can see, see his flight feathers, how they're kind of that red. I don't know what what color is that? Like a red it's a caramel color. Caramel, yeah. They're supposed to be black like this. Special bird. I think you're right. We should pull him up. If you are new to the channel, uh, this is Saint Hill Flyway. My God, my guide service. We built a lodge two years ago together here on the channel. Go back and watch those videos. Awesome videos building in everything that you see. <sighs> Most of our clients are just like you guys watching the videos, booking a hunt. This is where most people have come from. The last two years, we're going on year three. If you're interested in booking a hunt and you wanna know prices and date availability, all you gotta do is go to sandhillflyways.com. I always have it linked down below in the description. We have awesome, awesome, awesome dates in November right now, guys. Ducks are open all of November. Um, I would say if you're looking to duck hunt, 
uh, or have combo duck goose hunts, lots of November dates available and they're great. As long as it gets cold like it's supposed to, which it should this year, we had good rain, a lot of our ponds are full. I don't think, I think they're full enough that they're not gonna dry up. What's your thoughts on that, Kurt? Do you think the amount of water around, do you think well, the ponds? Well, the ponds are in great shape right now. They're full. They are full, so full. If we can get some, get a few more rains and get some early this fall, we'll be in good shape this, this hunting season. Yeah, if we, if we hold water on the ponds, the bodies of water that are not new, new in the last three years because they, dro they dried up four years ago or so, uh we're gonna have oh oh jeez we're gonna have a lot of ducks that show up we should have a lot, a lot of water fowl. yes we should have a, a lot more ducks for one but a lot more waterfowl a new highway a little side tip um uh, a new uh, let me see what i was saying was uh a new highway is going in uh in our area and um they're they're having to buy a bunch of dirt so we call them borrow pits. What it is is the state or whoever, probably the state, obviously, uh, <clears throat> buys dirt directly from the farmer or the landowner uh, that is closest to the Vidoc overpass that they're having to build. And this is a huge brand new highway and it is running basically diagonal through the state, just like our fly line comes down. And I believe uh, all these, most of these Borrow pits are actual sand pits. They're, they're going straight to sand pit mode. They're not going to just body of water, leave it alone mode. They're going to sand pit mode. So they're huge, absolutely massive, brand new bodies of water. And I believe that we will winter. It could be the most birds in general that we have for a long time. And what I mean, winter is get through the entire, you know, January, February, holding birds and them not going south or moving out on us. Yeah, that's awesome. Good. Can you drop his butt down just a hair? Or is that where he is? Yeah, there you go. Better? Yeah, I think that is perfect. But we're gonna have a lot of birds and I mean it, it could be uh, one of the biggest years here in Kansas um, due to water 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 we are full we have not had this much water uh what's your guess five years so what do you think how long has it been since since we've had good water yeah like this type of water well it's been at least five six years five or six yeah. you know the last time the the river actually got up yeah you know i feel like it's been forever it's been a long time yeah it has it's been super dry super dry the last five years so like i said if you guys are interested in coming here this is the year especially november this is the year awesome dates uh i always get asked um do, bobby do we have to have eight people no you do not have to have eight people you can have two two is our minimum up to however many you got so we have a lot of fun here lots and lots and lots of memories made awesome meals cooked by Burtis. kurt's always here until you're here until late January. Middle January. Yeah. Yeah. Until you gotta go, uh, go gotta sit go in the mud. Chase snow beast. Chase, chase snow beast again. Endure the muddy bottom blues. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Endure the rain and the yeah. snow and the ice and all that stuff. For a lot of people don't know that struggle. A lot of people are bummed because they have one crappy hunt. It happens. Yeah. Everybody, they, everybody's gonna get into a bad hunt once in a while. But the weather while providing clients for wait arkansas is 22 years mm -hmm. 22 years straight yeah you've endured some shit. yeah straight up yeah we've been <laughs> flooded out we've had ice storms we've had hail storms been we've been blizzard our, we've been on our shorts <laughs> you've been in crocs yeah crocs yeah. god wait that year what year was that is that 17 i think 17 yeah and you guys smashed them yeah in Crocs, in yeah. shorts. It was, it was warm. That's crazy. That is crazy. That looks, yeah. that looks freaking amazing. Well, here's the finished product. That didn't take long. No. 
give it a lowdown. Spring snow goose hunts are totally weather orientated. Yes, you are at bay. You, you are at the mercy of Mother Nature. Constantly. Yep. Especially in Arkansas. Yeah, because it rains. Once it rains, it doesn't quit. It doesn't Last year was twice. really, really good, and that was probably the least amount of rain we've had for quite some time down there. For the last two, three years, we got flooded out of the house. We got, we got flooded <laughs> in the house. Couldn't get out. I mean, you know, dikes broke, and yeah. we got flooded in for like three days. You guys, I don't know. You, I would say y'all are a different breed. Yeah, we're we're weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You think we should move some of those feeders, like a couple, yeah, and see what it I looks like? We'll, I think we'll move some feeders over here so we can get uh, get our what we're looking for here. Yeah. So this is what's happening here. This is the flock that me and Kurt are building. We're building. Yep, it's in building phase. That's our two new ones. We're just filling in. Filling in as we go. Well. <laughs> we did it again. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Kurt, you outdid yourself again. Uh, so we moved these ones over, these two walkers. So eventually the leucistic needs to come up. That's the, only, that's the only thing really that we have that we can move around. Right. You know. For the time being. Yeah. But here's the two new ones right underneath them. And this is what it's literally turning out to be. Like I told Kurt, I was like, man, it looks like we planned this or something. Just kind of going, you know, as we go. And Kurt doing what he wants, really. Just doing what you're good at. That's fun, amazing. It's fun to create. Yeah. You know, as a goose hunter, look, you got bands on your oh, keys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. I like it because it all, like we were saying, it has one, all the geese are looking at the same focal right, point. Same focal point. No matter which way they're coming from, yep. it's the same focal point. Gee, man, you Christmas. <laughs> amazing. Ah. So. Kurt, um, if you guys have not seen the video, boy howdy, was that last year? Might have been last season. Either the last season or the season before, I actually went to Kurt's house down in his basement, and it is called the Blue Goose Museum. And y'all know what blues are. They're these. They're those. They're like this one that we just hung. But Kurt's basement is filled with so many neck collared blues, snows, specks, bands everywhere, reward bands. Literally the Hall of Fame for goose hunters. Probably one of the best personal uh, taxidermy collections and exhibits that anybody has in the entire nation. I'm serious. Thank you, Kurt, if you're watching this. I don't know if you'll watch it, but he does awesome work, don't he? He does awesome work and he's an awesome buddy. Um, he awesome. He volunteers his time. He volunteers his work to give back to the, to the, to the lodge for absolutely no reason. And it's all because he's my friend. Um, he loves providing for his friends. You know, he is one of a kind old Kurt, absolute waterfowl legend. If you haven't watched that video on his basement, you really need to, um, got some really, really cool unique birds in there that the world has never seen. So there's a stud gad while I shot in uh, North Dakota. Awesome. I love this place. This is the new bedroom I made. I don't know if I've shown you guys this one. Just a small little two man, real cozy. Coming downstairs to the hallway. Here is, uh, this is the, uh, I call it the deer room, deer bedroom. Really big, three beds. We upgraded the size of the beds too, guys. They got bigger fulls, so the big fellas that come, they get the big beds. The big fellas do. You know what I mean by big fellas. Mm -hmm. Tupac with a pintail. So, like I said, if you guys want to book a hunt with me here in central Kansas, please get a hold of me now. And what I mean, go fill out the inquire to book form. And you can come here, put your name in the book. Put your pin on the map, uh-huh, and have a bunch of fun together. But subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, I got the new duck boat that I haven't showed you yet. Going to show you this weekend. 
Uh, got bought an Argo. Got to show you that. I get, we bought 2,000 new decoys. Got to show you that. Lots of things starting to pop off for the hunting season to come. Be safe out there. Hopefully, I see you here this coming season. But have a good one, y'all. Need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Gotta go.